What's up YouTubers? So before we get started with this video, on that jump, they're going to be talking about how the LA Clippers got beat down by 51 points by the Dallas Mavericks. So let's see what they have to say about that. It's time to play one of our favorite games here on the jump, right out of the gate too. Something, <laughs> nothing, or everything. So let's... Oh, this is definitely something. Start in Los Angeles. The Clippers lost by 51 points yesterday. I repeat... The Clippers lost by 51 points yesterday. There's no excuse for that. They were without Kawhi Leonard, who was out. Here is Paul George after the game. I take full responsibility. Um, you know, it's a tough game coming from Christmas. Um, you know, I enjoyed my Christmas day. I enjoyed my Christmas day yesterday. Today just popped up on me a little too fast. Um, I'll take full ownership for that. Um, coming out and being prepared to play today. Um, be a different situation come uh, next game, and, uh, you know, we'll be ready. Make sure um, our group will be ready. Okay. I don't want to hear any excuses by getting beat down by 51 points. I think there has to be some type of record. I mean, 51 points? You've got to be kidding me. I know Kawhi Leonard's out. He's hurt because he got his face, his grill busted up, and he had to have eight stitches. So he's over on the sideline trying to heal up so he can come back help you guys. And you guys completely wet the bed. No, you didn't wet the bed. You pooped the bed. I mean, this is completely out of control. 51 points? You guys have to do something without Kawhi Leonard. Hey, so Coach Fizz... Trailing by 50 at halftime, losing by 51 overall. Is that something, <laughs> nothing, or everything? Oh, that's something. You can't just discount losing by 50. I know Coach Lou was digging deep into that bag, trying to pull all his tricks out to get the team riled up and, <laughs> and get them moving, but that, that turkey was sitting on them and all of those fixings and everything. So, you know, I think... No, no, no. I don't want to hear any excuses about... Christmas, I don't want any excuses for anything. 50 more points. I mean, at some point, you have to play for pride. The good thing about this is Paul George took ownership of it, and he had an opportunity to show that he could lead this team without Kawhi, and he missed that opportunity. He'll probably have it again, but that's why I think it's something, because he has to be able to take this team and carry it for stretches during the season, and that's going to be very important. Look, I... I think it's nothing. I, I, I understand it looks terrible, um, but, I, I, you know, this is a, it's the third game of the year. They've looked great so far. They didn't have Kawhi. And, I, you know, when Paul George basically, he just flat out said, look, I enjoyed my Christmas. I enjoyed it a little too much. Okay, it sounded like he got back from, <laughs> back from Denver and had a good time, right? And, and, and to me, it's like, look, you own that. And he, I like that he said I own that. I like that he said we had a little Christmas hangover there. And, and this happens. Like, when you get down real early... This Wait a minute. What do you mean this happens? I can't recall the last time I saw somebody get beat down by 51 points. I cannot recall that. 51 points? There's no excuse for that. I'm pretty sure I can get Duke or Kentucky or some other high-ranked team to go in there and play against the Dallas Mavericks, and they won't get beat up by 51 points. I'm sure of it. I'm sure I can get UCLA, USC, or some team in there to go in there and take care of business and not get beat down by 51 points. That's a college team. A college team can go in there and not get beat down by 51 points. This is absolutely ridiculous. There's no excuse for it. You have to play for pride. I mean, they absolutely took a dump in a bed and it's done and over with. I mean, this doesn't make sense at all. This game was out of hand in the first quarter. I mean, I kept seeing the scores and I was like, ooh, that looks really bad. And usually, if you close that gap by halftime, there's a chance it's not going to be ugly like that. But I mean, the second half was even. I don't know. I'm trying to find a problem. Look at that. There's no excuse for this. And there's no trying to sugarcoat this or try to say, oh, well, at least he owned up to it. Of course you better own up to it. Kawhi Leonard's out there injured. He got his grill busted up. He's got eight stitches. He's over there trying to heal. And the least you guys can do is not get beat by 51 points. You know, maybe 10, 15, whatever. That's bad too. But 51 points you guys get beat by? There was no excuse for that. I've never heard of that before. Never. <laughs> Good job, coach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I'm going to go in the middle here between you two. I'm going to create a new version. I know it's something, nothing, or everything, but I'm going to go snuffing, yeah. okay? <laughs> snuffing. Because it is a little bit of something, and it's kind of a little bit of nothing, okay? Right, right. Because it is the third game of the season, yeah. but my God. You can't be embarrassed like that at home. Right. I don't care you had a Christmas hangover. I don't care how much turkey you had, how much ham you had, how many fixings you had. Listen, 
There's not enough tryptophan in the world to make you sleepwalk through that game the way they sleepwalk through that. So that is an embarrassing situation. So I'm going to go and create a new category and call it nothing. All right. Next Again, like I said, this is absolutely ridiculous. 51 points. I mean, come on. Where's the defense? I mean, at 51 points, at some point, I would start cheating once I start getting close to 50. You guys aren't going to put those type of numbers up on my team. You have to play for pride. It doesn't matter what's going on. If you're the worst team in the NBA, you have to play for some type of pride for your team, who you are, what type of person you are, to not just sit there and get beat down by 51 points. I would be so embarrassed if I was Paul George and those boys. That's just ridiculous. Next, the